All right, uh, Jen St. Dennis is with us from Business Vancouver. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. We're talking about the Conference Board of Canada saying good things about our province. Yeah, that's right. The Conference Board of Canada is saying that BC is going to uh, lead economic growth in both 20, 2016 and 2017. Uh, they are forecasting that BC is going to, in fact, be the only Canadian province uh, to get above 3% growth in those years. So now when we're looking at the sectors that they think will do well, uh, they think that people will continue to want to live in BC, and that bodes well for the real estate and for construction sectors. So they're expecting to see a lot of that economic growth coming from construction. Uh, and other things tied to that, so, for instance, a home and garden retail they're expecting to do well. Um, now, they're also expecting uh, manufacturing to also do well, especially wood manufacturing, and that's tied to uh, housing picking up in the United States, that rebounding. Um, and they're also factoring in one LNG plant getting approved and going ahead. They think that uh, Petronas's Lilu Island project is going to go ahead, and that could, if that gets uh, approved, that could have a big economic boost for the province as well. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep monitoring that situation. Hopefully <laughs> sure. it comes true over That's the next right, couple yeah. of years. That's right, yeah. Hopefully we see that economic growth, for sure. Um, no matter if you uh, online in the magazines and stuff, you hear this uh, this uh, ads for Indochino, which is a men's wear company, and uh, they've made some changes at the top. Yeah, no, this is a local BC-based company that has had a lot of growth. Uh, they're called Indochino, and uh, the business model is that you can order a, a custom suit or other menswear items like shirts online, and then they get uh, ma made by tailors in China. And so this was a business model that was started a few years ago. They've since expanded, and they've opened seven brick-and-mortar stores. Now, the uh, founder of the company, Carl Vuko, he was a very young man when he founded this company. He was a University of Victoria Commerce student. Uh, he has been wanting to step down as CEO for a while, and now they have announced that they have indeed found a new CEO. His name is Drew Green, and he has experience in e-commerce. Uh, he was one of the founders of Shop.com. So uh, he has a lot of experience in that field, and he is going to planning to uh, expand the business a lot. They want to expand internationally, and they want to keep or opening more brick-and-mortar stores. Now, this could be a little bit of a risky move. They are, Indochino is already seeing competitors nipping at their heels, offering some cheaper products, uh, and as they start to uh, expand, they're going to have to differentiate their brand. We spoke to one retail analyst who said, you know, there's a huge amount of competition out there in the retail world, and so this is going to be a challenge that Indochina is going to have to overcome as they expand. Steve. Mm. All right, we'll see how they do. For sure. All right, 643. Jen, thank you very much. Thank you.